Now, there's more work being done in that category. Clinical trials underway for other teens as well. ABC 13's Marla Carter joins us live outside of DM Clinical, who's conducting trials for teens, as well as including other drug manufacturers. Marla? That's right. And as you mentioned, the news from Pfizer today, great news. It really could be a game changer, especially when it comes to planning family vacations this summer. But as you mentioned, there are other drug manufacturers who currently have trials involving teens. One, for example, is Novavax. And DM Clinical in particular is conducting some of those trials and looking for more teens to participate. I actually ha used to keep them in my bedroom. 14-year-old Erilyn and her sister, 15-year-old Ariana, are helping their family raise roosters and hens. They're also about to embark on another journey together. They're both set to participate in the Novavax vaccine trial. I like the fact that we're going to be able to go in this together and be able to, like, you know, see each other, go through the same things. I don't really like shots. They, they scare me a bit, so... It's better to be able to go through it with someone else. They're set to begin on Monday. Part of what inspired them is seeing what COVID has done and the lives it has taken. My family works in healthcare, and my family has been seeing people pass away a lot, actually, because they all work on sometimes COVID floors in their hospitals, and it really takes a toll on my own family. Their parents are proud. And when they talk to us about their concerns and then later decide to make the decision to participate, yeah, I am proud. They are participating in the Novavax trial through DM Clinical. While it appears Pfizer will get the go-ahead next week to vaccinate teens, doctors say it's important to have other options, too, for several reasons. The more people that we can get included in the trials, I think the more representative the results are, number one. And then number two, the more options that we have to offer Americans who are interested in being vaccinated uh, and, and the more accessibility we have, that's always going to be a good thing. As for these sisters, they are eager to participate in the trial and do something that will help protect themselves, others, and future generations. I really want to get back to being able to hang out with my friends and it's kind of sucks that I'm not able to. Not to mention that I also want the people around me to be safe and ever uh, and I don't want them to get sick. Now, again, the trials we were just talking about involve teenagers from 12 to 15 years old, but there are trials also underway for those younger than 12 years old. In fact, there's a trial underway right now at Baylor College of Medicine, Texas Children's, for those younger than two years old. We'll hear from one of those participants, at least the parents of one of those participants, coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Reporting live, Marla Carter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.